What would you think of the halftime show? Because I think that's more something we kind of want. We watched like half of it, right? No, you know, no, we ended the, up the seeing whole the whole thing. Was it? The whole halftime show. Well, because we thought we missed it. By the oh, time okay. I turned it on, I thought we were already in the second half, but it was like right before it started. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we watched it from beginning to end. Uh, you know, they upbeat every one of his songs, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of get it, you know. Quite a bit of them. In. Yeah. Uh, but also to have like, because, you know, they didn't play um, a slow song. They didn't actually play like, you know, even though most of the songs were slow, mm -hmm. they they put like an up tempo to all of them. Mm -hmm. And it worked out. Yeah, I think you it know? was good. It did work out. Uh, especially to end it with Lil John and uh, Ludacris, you know. Yeah, I think they did. Good. I think they could have put another song in there, but I think they could do it to like have everybody hype, like for sure. Yeah. Um, I like. Well, I was just gonna say, I just like how they worked in playing the guest's song before they did their song with Usher. You know, so like when Alicia Keys was about to come out, or that she did come out, she it was her own song. Mm -hmm. And then when Lil Jon came out, it was his own song. Right, right, right. And then he did the one with Usher. The only one that didn't have their own song was Ludacris. Oh, right, right. But I think because he doesn't maybe have like, you know. He could have played a, yeah, I don't know which one he could have played. Yes, there wasn't like the, like a mainstream song that would have like worked. Yeah. You know, like I, I see what you're saying. Like I think the ones that did right. was the ones that played. And know? because it was on, yeah, so you only needed to do one, which was Lil John's, you know, turned right. down for what? Right. And right. then boom, just put Ludacris in. You couldn't break it down and then right. have a Ludacris single and then do his part on yeah. yeah. So yeah, it just couldn't work out, so. I worked will, out <laughs> i was gonna say i was like i will say alicia keys cannot sing anymore like for real well so because when we saw it on like live right you know how like it's a thing where it's like if you can't see well you can't hear right it didn't like i was like i'm having a little trouble hearing her but i'm like because i feel like when they were singing the song, it was mid song, and maybe she hadn't like warmed up her vocal cords enough, right? Um, but then when I saw it the next day, like on TikTok, it was bad. Like when you could hear the sound, it was bad. Like oh, yeah. she was like very off tune, and and then like she was not hitting the notes like she should have. And um, I think that's why Usher kind of came in and, like helped like with the singing aspect of it and uh what's it called oh he everybody, helped everybody yeah he helped himself right everybody was like that's what happens when you take somebody's man and like ah. uh you know like karma's still like no nope, you took someone's man we'll take your voice the guy she's married with he was with somebody swiss mm -hmm. swiss beats yeah he For was real? in a whole relationship when she's like a homewrecker and it's funny because all the like tiktoks where it's like oh yeah with that body i can see why she's a homewrecker like and and because then of course you know all the comments started happening with how Usher was like again like the Kiki Palmer kind of thing came back up like because they're making fun they're like oh is that why you wanted me to agree with the Kiki Palmer thing so you could go up there and have me looking a fool like that's what they were saying like Swiss Beats was like saying you know? yeah <laughs> but no yeah she's a, she was in a whole ass relationship whenever and they've been married like i don't know what like 10 years now or something but like damn um i never knew that <laughs> no yeah no i did for real yeah i was like i didn't know when it happened but eventually i found i was like oh <laughs> that's why he can't say anything right because it's karma bro yeah but also because like you know well i just i don't like whenever they do the whole thing because like i will say usher was a little handsy in my opinion but I know they always like to put it off like, oh, he's a performer. He's a performer. Like, they're entertainers. They're entertainers. Like, they always love that they're like, oh, you're not going to tell someone else like at work to be like underperform. But I'm like, this is a little different. Like, honestly, I feel like, oh, y'all say that because that's how y'all be with y'all's coworkers. True. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I was like, that's yeah. why y'all be saying like. Oh, if it was a co, I'm like, mm, no, the way y'all be hanging out with y'all's coworkers and like having this little like work wife work, I'm like, no wonder y'all are letting this pass because it just like, you know, justifies your own actions at work. Yep. Second, because um, what's it called? 
every time this comes up, whenever someone's like doing something that could be perceived like a little disrespectful to like your partner, right? They always and it always comes up like, oh, she's in an open marriage. That's supposed to like justify it, like, oh, you know, like there's <laughs> Wait, no <what>? problem. <laughs> no, yeah, like I saw articles where they're like, oh, y'all guys didn't know like the reason they've been together for so long and it works is because they're in an open relation, like marriage. I'm like, why is that always the justification for it? You know, like, and the fact that Usher wasn't married but had applied for their marriage license three days before the Super Bowl, you know. And he was acting out <laughs> like that. Yeah. And and who's like, what's his girl going to say? Because, hey, it's Usher. Like, the thing with her is because since she doesn't have like, or, I mean, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, she's not like, doesn't have like a presence as far as like in the entertainment section. Not to say she's not, I'm not saying she's a nobody. I'm just saying I feel like they let him slide for that because they're like, this is Usher. You're supposed to be like thankful like that he picked you kind of thing. You know? Yeah. That's how I feel like that's why they like let it slide, you know, because it's like, right. He's Usher. You just got to give him like a sliding <laughs> like what is that thing? Like it's like, oh, you just got to let it. Yeah. You know? I don't know. It was a little weird. <laughs> yeah. Very. I was just going to say, because, like, yeah, I know he does the dancing, but she's never been known for that stuff. She's like Alicia Keys, so. You know? Yeah. She's always been sitting her ass on the piano, so. <laughs> she should have stayed there, I, you know? <laughs> I watched some clip of her on Drink Champs recently. Is she a bruh girl? Yeah. <laughs> that makes I was sense. like, yo, she'll beat you up. Honestly, because when she first came out, like, you know, with the braids and yes, she was like she is does look very feminine, but because she didn't have like I don't think to me when she first came out, they didn't pitch her like like a sex symbol, if that makes sense. It was very much talent oriented and the, she was very pretty, but like no one really pushed her to be like she's like a sex symbol or anything like that. Right. Mm -hmm. So Loki eventually whenever she because like she did remember then did the song with like Eve and again there was no hardly not too much of like love interest. I know there was like dudes in her videos but she didn't really seem so I was like oh maybe she's like you know shoots <laughs> for the home team right like she's a lesbian and that's why they're not pushing too much of her being like with the dude right. Oh. Because those were the vibes I was getting that maybe she was like a lesbian, you know, and that, but they weren't going to come right out and say that until the thing with the Usher where then she's, and I was like, oh, okay. And then like, but that makes sense about the bro girl because I used to think she was like a lesbian. So, oh, okay. You know? Well, because like when, when, and by meaning beat you up is like, if you're in a relationship with her, like how they, she's like, where's the pants? Yeah. Uh, like how, they say Nikki is because apparently when she was with Safari, was that her ex? Mm -hmm. Right. I guess back in the day when she was first coming out that this uh, interview she had with Safari, they asked her, you know, and so are you with anyone? And then. So she starts by saying no. Right. Like mm -hmm. she's single and everything. And Safari is right there. Mm -hmm. So at the time they were they were together already mm -hmm. so he's like yo what do you mean mm -hmm. and she's like telling him yo shut the hell up mm -hmm. you know like i do the talking mm -hmm. you know this this and that. Yeah. <laughs> at the time when i'd seen that at the time i was like team safari right because i was like yo like you know when they're talking about emasculating a man that was that like and the fact because I, I was like, because they kept trying to pitch Safari because they would ask, like, why is he always with her in these interviews? Why is he always on stage? They're like, oh, hype man, hype man, hype man. And I was like, who the fuck has a hype man, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that to me was new. I was like, I know when your entourage is there, but why specifically one hype person, right? 
And um, what she would was so condescending. She, I, I remember that interview. There's other ones like whenever she was doing like I think it was like on the road to the Grammys, like the pre-show. They did a whole documentary like following her. Yeah. And how like you know, he, and she was just like, "You're so stupid! Like, shut up! You don't know anything!" Like just the way she would talk to him, I was like. And when it finally, because then she flipped the script whenever she finally was like, oh, we're going to break up. And then she was like, oh, you know, like, I love them. I held them. I was like, when did you hold them down? <laughs> when did you show? Like, no, mind you, because when Safari got with the, the Erica, right? And how he did her, I was like, okay, I can see why Nikki did. Like, I can see it now. But not knowing that then, like, how he was, I was like, yo, you're like hella out of pocket. And because they it came out that the label told her no one's gonna like i guess guys right she's like a yeah. rapper they're not gonna like you're not gonna blow up if you're in a relationship so we're gonna pitch you as single you're supposed to be this sex symbol because remember she was very adamant like i don't over sexualize myself i don't do this i don't do that it's off of just talent damn lies but whatever damn fucking lies uh, <laughs> wasn't like, that that was what is it uh, anaconda <laughs> well even before that like oh, i guess before. like yeah saying, yeah because she kept oh saying, yeah because like, that was after yeah Spartan, yeah that right? was okay. yeah but still. no <laughs> so she was just like no like it's off of my talent off of my bars like um i don't sexualize myself and i'm like and then it's funny because like there kept coming receipts where she got her tits done she got her ass done and she said specifically because she said that drake and Lil Wayne and all of them made her feel like she didn't look like a woman. But I'm like, but you're saying that you were not trying to sexualize yourself and you go in and get a BBL and get your tits done and all these things in order to get a man's attention. So, like, that was, like, contradictory. And the fact that, yes, yeah, she's like, yeah, like, I told him, if we're going to make this money, that's how we have to get pitched. And you have to, like, agree to it, regardless if we're together yeah i have to present myself as single and with all the dudes that she was like messing around with in front of safari the fact that like drake and them were like taking shots at him in the song too like it was bad damn so yeah alicia keys probably like you ain't gonna say shit (laughs) which is why i feel like then swiss beats had to go like well he didn't have to but he responded to all the stuff and was like you guys are making yeah like there's no issue here i'm like why did you even have to acknowledge it like she wears the pants yeah it's messed up because you know michael blackson from friday after no wait next friday Mm -hmm. the dude in the store oh yeah i know he's like i can get jiggy with this he was on vlad talking about it and you know the whole light skin thing oh (laughs) he's like yeah only uh because they referenced the Kiki Palmer oh, okay, situation okay. also. Uh, what did he say? He was like, um, that only happens to light-skinned dudes. Like, where, like, the woman will. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Because <laughs> he was all like, ain't no, like, dark skin like himself. Because he's like, right, right, right. going to let that shit happen. Like, uh. I would have been right outside, like, yo, I need to see Usher. Like, <laughs> <laughs> let me talk to you some, real quick. <laughs> right, yeah, something like that. Like, yo, you ain't gonna be up with my woman like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I was like, that's messed up. Michael Blackson with his jokes and stuff. <laughs> but hey, it just so happened to be the same, you know, tone for Kiki Palmer's man, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so and because you said kiki palmer was at the end of all that saying like everyone knows he's gay like she even went to that i didn't know he had baby. length i didn't know he had baby mamas did you know he usher had kids no no like and, and not to say that it matters but it's just like because then you know the whole chili mm-hmm. thing came out that he was like heartbroken or right because he apparently proposed to her and she rejected him and i was like man but i still remember y'all had a whole video together like like a whole breakup marketing so, campaign i actually with that song you know I yeah so like i know they're saying it had nothing to do but it was funny because then like people were like when he came out they're like first of all why are you talking about this now right because like now you're like whole ass married right 
And like, why? Why is True, this coming right. up? Why is this coming up? Why do you even have to mention that? It's always weird. <laughs> it's always weird. Um, what's it called? Because he, well, it's funny because um, when you read the interview, I guess he's saying like he was just that they were in two different places. That she had certain like expectations or like maybe like requirements of what she was expecting out of the relationship. And he was like, I'm not there. So because of that, then she's like, right, since you can't meet these, then I don't see us like getting like where she was at. Right. Mm -hmm. So she's like, "Um, I don't see us being together. And that's the end of that. So the headline was kind of crazy, like, right, you know, but like when you actually read it, it kind of goes into more as like, they were just in two different places and he wasn't willing to do what she was asking for. So it wasn't like, Oh, she just like straight up turned him down. He also wasn't willing to like meet her to what she was like wanting. Right. <laughs> and second, they were like, cause whenever I guess he was like, it made him not trust women anymore. And they were like, Oh, are we just going to forget the fact that you cheated on her and not the stuff because of the songs. Cause I know like the whole confessions album. Right. But apparently he had been cheating on her. So, but how does that turn it into like, he can't trust women for shit he did? Like, yeah. that makes no <laughs> sense to me. And the fact that, again, like, it's always so weird that, like, you're now married at this point and you're bringing up an ex and talking about how, like, that uh, has effect. Like, why does, and I get that she's like a famous ex, but still, it's been so long. Like, yeah, she's already like moved on and she's yeah. dating someone else and like she's happy. Like, you know, that's so weird to me. Yep. 